This demonstration will provide an introduction to the HTTP referrer, sometimes known as simply the referrer. The referrer is the address or URL of the referring web page that is sent to a target website. The URL is transmitted to the target website when a link has been clicked on from the referring web page. In this test scenario, I will be using Microsoft Windows 7 with Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. It's important to mention that the referrer is a component of the HTTP protocol, which is part of every web browser, regardless of its operating system. To begin, I will demonstrate how the HTTP referrer data is being used on a website. Using Internet Explorer, some videos on YouTube do not display the HTTP referrer data, which is usually located here. On another video, the HTTP referrer data is displayed here. This website has a link to this particular video. The culmination of web users from this website accessing this video generates what is displayed here. In this demonstration, we will be using a web browser to test the HTTP referrer. For this scenario, I have created a test website called test.home.local. It is an internet website, therefore it is not on the public internet. Here I have three public website links that I can use to test the HTTP referrer. But before I proceed, I want to make sure that Internet Explorer retrieves its data from the public internet website rather than its cache. First, I'm going to click on the Star Drifter link and it shows my HTTP referrer as my test internet website. Next, I will try the Carmack test link and it shows that my HTTP referrer is my test internet website. And finally, I will try the BrowserHawk website which will provide a more concise analysis of what the web browser is sending to the web server. As you notice, the analysis indicates that the web browser does send a tremendous amount of data to the web server, but our current focus is on the HTTP referrer, which is located here. Most web browsers will only send the HTTP referrer data if you clicked on it as a link. With Internet Explorer, if you were to perform a copy and paste to the address bar, the HTTP referrer data will not be sent to the web server. For example, if I copy the Star Drifter URL and paste it to the address bar, The referrer shows up as null or empty. The same results can be achieved if I copy the Carmack URL and paste it into the address bar. The results are null or empty. And finally, 
copying BrowserHawk's URL and pasting it into the address bar. The results are the same as the previous two, which is null or empty. So now I will show you how to disable the HTTP refer so that it does not send its data to any website. Unfortunately, this version of Internet Explorer does not have the ability or options to disable the HTTP refer. Hopefully, future versions of Internet Explorer will have this capability. Therefore, I will now proceed with Mozilla Firefox and subsequently with Google Chrome. The first thing I will do with Firefox is to make sure that the HTTP refer is active by default. Using my test intranet website, I will perform a quick test using Star Drifter and Carmack. Now that the HTTP refer has now been confirmed to be active, I can now manually disable it by opening up a new Firefox window and clicking on the address bar, typing about colon config, and I'll get a warning message. And I want to search for refer. And in this current version of Firefox, one preference name shows up. I want to right click, select modify, and I want to change the value from 2 to 0. Now I will perform a quick test to make sure my new configuration settings are in place. And now I will reset the configuration back to its default setting. Perform a quick test to make sure that the HTTP refer is now back to its default setting. As you can see, the HTTP refer is now active again which returns it back to its default setting. Now I'm going to show you how to disable the HTTP refer using a Firefox add-on or extension. I'll first go to the Firefox add-ons or extensions website. And I will search for refer I would like to select the item called ref control and click add to Firefox and install and restart Firefox And now I'm going to go into the ref control options. Here I can make per site changes or global changes. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and perform a global site change, which is to disable the HTTP refer. And now I will perform a quick test to make sure that the HTTP refer has been disabled.
Instead of disabling the HTTP referrer, you can also specify a random value. For this example, I'll just specify a global random value using YouTube.com. And then I'll perform a quick test. And it looks like everything is correct. And finally, I will briefly discuss Google Chrome and how to disable the refer using Chrome extensions. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into Chrome extensions. And I'll search for refer. And I'll select the first item called refer control. Go ahead and add to Chrome. There are many options to the referral control, but I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the global setting and disable the HTTP refer by selecting block. And finally, I'll perform a quick test to make sure that my HTTP refer has been disabled. and it looks like everything is working correctly. To re-enable the HTTP refer, I'll just go back into my extensions and select normal. and perform a quick test. And everything's back to normal. As you can see, the HTTP refer data can be seen as a benefit or a detriment depending on how you value your privacy. Thank you for watching.